Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well in the long weekend. I have a message that I wanted to share with you, actually for a couple of weeks. It's just trying to find time and, and everything. Uh, but I'm going to share it with you today. But before I do, um, big news, my podcast is relaunching this Tuesday. And if you may have noticed already, my first guest is Allison Co. So I'm so excited to have her on the podcast. Please tune in, tune in this Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific, and join me in the live chat, okay, on YouTube. Also, if you're not already, please follow me on Instagram or Telegram. Links are in the description below. All right, let's get into this because, you know, I had a friend a few weeks ago um, call me up and ask me for my advice on a situation that was unfolding. And, you know, this is something that happens a lot for all of us, myself included. And I think it's important for us to understand how to discern between um, a, a sign that is telling you you're on the right path or perhaps an illusionary sign that is the ego's way of getting you off the path, okay? And that's why I've called this video the ego's Hail Mary because oftentimes when we're making decisions to go in a direction that takes us a little bit out of our comfort zone, maybe a lot out of our comfort zone, and perhaps even takes us into a place where we may not have all the support systems that we're used to. Despite getting all of these signs that this was the right thing to do right before you're about to go for, go like all in and make your decision and perhaps leave a certain situation or a relationship or anything behind in order to move forward uh, in this direction, the ego will come in and try to sabotage your movement forward. Okay. And what the way the ego can do this is create all these things that all of a sudden just start to go wrong. And of course, we're taught that when you're on the path, you're on in the flow, everything's flowing, everything comes easy. Well, and that's very true. I'm not denying that isn't true, but there's another layer that sometimes gets missed. And that's when the ego tries to throw a Hail Mary to stop you. And it will come in the form of perhaps a sequence of events unfolding in rapid succession to show you that maybe what you're doing isn't the right choice. Like, why would all these things go wrong if I'm on the right path? Okay, I know you guys are feeling, I know you're feeling this. I know you've been here. We've all been here. And it's so important to have that discernment, to know what are signs that are guiding you along the right way and, and, and um, examples that the universe has your back, so to speak. Okay, the universe, you are in flow with the universe and your, your higher self, uh, your higher self's guidance. One of the ways that you can discern are if these are actual signs that you're maybe making the wrong decision or if it's something else like self-sabotage is first take stock of all the signs that got you to the place where you are in that moment before everything went wrong. How many signs did you receive that were confirmations that everything is the way it's supposed to be? Because oftentimes, and this is very human, and I often think that our guides, our angels, whatever you want to call them, are probably just shaking their heads, slapping their sides up, get their heads up against the side, slapping their hands up against the sides of their head, uh, because we're not getting it. They can send us a thousand signs to do one thing and then they then the one sign happens and we and it's the wrong thing and we put all of this weight and stock into one or two little incidents that go wrong that must mean it's not and that's very human nature it's very human nature for us to focus on the negative to focus on what's not happening focus on how everything's falling apart as to post to all of the good things it's so human nature Okay, and part of the process here of discernment is to step into your logical mind and take stock of 
everything up until that point and then weigh it out logically. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Because sometimes your emotions get involved, you a little bit of fear start, starts to um, sink in, and that can start to make you question everything, bring in a lot of self doubt. The other thing too is check in as to why you're considering stopping. Because if all these, if these, if you have this succession of events that happen that make you question your choice uh, and your in your path forward, ask yourself, what comforts am I losing by going forward? And really, kind of check in to see how the ego could be very terrified of those comforts. What is it that you're used to having that you may not have if you were to go forward? Okay. Is it the support of certain people? Is it the support of certain systems? Is it, um, you know, is it just a stable environment? Is it familiarity? Whatever it might be, just kind of check in and see because the ego doesn't like change. The ego doesn't like change. But as I just put out on my last Instagram post, the comfort zone, as much as it is important to have comfort, the comfort zone is where everything dies after a period of time, okay? So you need to treat it like a recovery zone from the last comfort zone you just pushed back from, okay? So your comfort zone is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger the more you push past the boundaries, the more you expand. And the more you need to learn, everything that you need to learn is outside your comfort zone. So just kind of check in and see like, if I don't, am I going to be slowing down my growth? Am I retracting? Am I recoiling? Am I constricting what are my dreams? What are the what are what is what I know to be true for my soul? All of these things are important for you to take stock of. Okay, so just know the difference between synchronicities and signs that you know you're on the right path versus the ego's hail mary, which will usually come in right before you're ready to make the final drop. Okay, on your decision and whatever it is, whether it's cutting energetic ties or physical ties or stopping certain things, it could be as simple as a diet, okay? You may be getting ready to do some super cleanse and your ego's just like, no, body's not, no, we're not on board with this. Like, no, it just means we're not gonna be able to eat the certain things we want. It doesn't mean you're gonna be able to do certain things, you know, and it's just gonna make, it's gonna put you in a very disciplinary place and the ego doesn't like discipline. So, I just wanted to share this with all of you because it is a common issue that comes up for a lot of people. Know the difference between the ego's Hail Mary and the proper synchronicities that are showing you on your path. Guys, I love you so much. I hope to see you in the live chat on Tuesday night, 8 p.m. with Allison Co. for the relaunch of my podcast. I'm so excited. And guys, I love you so much. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll be back with you on Tuesday.